Hello, this is not a spring chicken. As you can tell, we are getting ready for Easter, which is one of the reasons what, why else would I be wearing purple and green and what, for the top and bottom of a swimsuit? But, oh yeah, we could say the green is for the Masters because President Obama is stepping up all over the Masters saying that, oh yes, women should be able to, what, participate in the Masters? Go to the, you know, go to the club for the Masters? Well, you know, what happened to all those minorities? I mean, it was just a few years ago when Tiger Woods was a big deal to even play at the Masters, mm -hmm. not become a member, to play at the Masters. So, you know, I guess we can tell that this is an election year. But you know what? Isn't the Masters about golf and not politics? And when did politics enter the realm for a private club? Hmm. Well, for now, we're going to bring on Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And President Obama steps on the Masters. Oh, yeah. I mean, I told everybody last week that this is what he was going to do, that he is swinging massively to the left. Basically, what happened is he's lost all of the married Democratic women because of the high price of gas. Remember those soccer moms that they depend upon so much to carry the water for them? Yeah. They can't afford to take their kids anywhere anymore because of the high cost of petroleum. And they blame Barack Obama for it, totally blame him. And, um, and today, you know, with the first day of the Masters, he comes out to, I think that women should be allowed to join the club, which basically is a totally private organization, which gets no money from the United States government, and the courts have ruled if you receive no money from these sources, you cannot order them to do anything. Same as if you have a private school. If you have a private school that's Jewish, and you don't take government money, they cannot force you to allow Muslims in. If you have a Muslim um, if you have a Muslim church that accepts no money from the United States government, you can't order Jews into the church. He is now saying he's put the presidential weight into attacking the Masters Augusta. Mm. And basically, uh, last time they had a Democrat do that, they threatened to totally make it private and have the thing um, not shown on television, period. Um, and basically, they're, they are already talking about that, that they're fed up with Democrats making a political football out of their, out of their club and their tournament. And they're, once again, as of what I heard they're saying a little while ago, they are contemplating on pulling the plug on the Masters for public viewing, period. That the only people that will be there are the players playing. Oh, man. All of this can be laid upon. kind of like... You know, no, Obama basically, he needs... He, he, is a, he supports women. Basically, he told everybody that's, uh, that plays golf, go to hell, you know, uh, that, that, because the, the, whole, the thing is, the women also want their people to play in the Masters. Mm -hmm. Men are not allowed under any circumstance to play in women's events, but they want the top women's golfers to be allowed to play in all the men's events, too. And uh, what he did was he basically pissed off all of the people that are, that are sports people who basically support the president, that are basically are really pissed off today. Totally yeah. pissed off at him. Really pissed off. He didn't have to. He could have simply... It was just stupid. He, 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 they said, um, all I know is that his pollster today said, who the hell is running this campaign? Mm -hmm. All he does is every single day now, he puts himself in the news in the wrong fashion. Uh, here was another one this morning from... From, um, from one of the Democrats that improved news media to support him. Somebody tell the man to shut up and he'll win the election. Didn't they tell him that last time? Yeah. They said, actually, go on vacation. For six weeks and you'll win the election. This time, there was the, they blanked the guy out when he said, shut up. You know, and everybody know what the F word was he used. Mm -hmm. They cannot get, when he is off, off teleprompter, this guy is a blooming idiot when he is off the teleprompter. I mean, he reads really well. I mean, I can sit there and smile and read off the teleprompter. Of course, I might have to have my glasses and be charming as can be. Well, I absolutely hate everybody, so. <laughs> I'm old. I'm, I'm sitting. See, the advantage of being old is you can really be a cranky old SOB and get away with it. <laughs> Obama and Supreme Court justices make the law. Oh, uh, yeah. I, isn't that a good one? That, um, okay, here, here's what's being done. Hold or set a thing to the, the appeals court, who is actually hearing a case at the moment on Obamacare. They're hearing a thing from a, from a hospital which will be put out of business by the President of the United States about whether he has the right to put a business out of business so that he can create a business to replace them. 
That's why the judge demanded to know from the Justice Department the President's position. The President's position is this. The justices have a right to rule on uh, to rule on laws. They do not have a right to rule a law unconstitutional. Only the only the elected officials can decide constitutional. No, basically all they did was just pissed off the people even more today. It was a you know one of these things where they said that a, um, all you had to do was to leave it you know. Uh, the one sentence, one paragraph, and explain what the president was meaning. Instead, they simply went that one step farther and said, "Only Congress has the right to make unconstitutionality." And that, I mean, that's just. Um, I think what else is going on besides the bomb on that thing? Oh, here's here's what was heard on why he did what he said. I, I this morning they said that why he went off teleprompter was because before he came on. There was that, you know, unnamed source that basically could have been a member of the Democratic minority over in the, in the Supreme Court because uh, they actually voted on the constitutionality of the law last week. The day that the, he made this off crowd remark, they voted on whether it was constitutional. Now they're going to spend from now till June writing their uh, reasons why they voted the way they did. They said that unknown source that may have been a member of the staff of one of the judges or may have been one of the judges themselves, no one will ever know because they're unnamed sources, notified the White House that the vote went against them on the mandate. Mm. Second, the reason why the vote went against them on the mandate had nothing to do with it being unconstitutional. It had to do with the fact that the mandate is never mentioned in the law. It is the Prote Personal Protection Act. They, um, they, 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 they filed the brief, the Obama people filed the brief supporting a piece of material that was not in the thing, which meant their defense was, you know, you can't defend something that isn't there. And if it's not there, you really can't make, say it's unconstitutional. All you can do is to basically vote five to four or even more. Well, we're, this law can, we can, uh, this law as the, as the President of the United States so stated, is not legal because there is no there is no such thing in it. Therefore, it is not legal. So it goes back to the courts again to be heard all over again, Can which is what that? Obama did not want to have happen. He wanted he wanted well they ruled on this being ill unconstitutional. No, they can rule on it unanimously and get their hand. They can play uh, this Easter as we can tell our hand, our, our ham. They can play Pontius Pilate now. <laughs> because it was, they can nitpick, it was not there, you were supporting something that was not there, therefore we need to go back to the courts and challenge, everything must be done based upon what is there, not is not what is not there. So really a disaster for Obama the last two weeks, folks. A low cost error over for China's workshops. No, um, there's, okay, those people that are not in the cities are still not making money. Mm -hmm. they, they use prison labor in China. They're not pay. Okay, I, unless you call a buck and something a day, it is uh, it is high cost production. The people that are living in the cities are basically the people that are seen by the Western world. The people that are not living in the cities is where all the main manufacturing done. And okay, we'll give you a tip. How much do you think the cost of a set of three D glasses is? Hmm. If they tell you the cost is a, a $10 a pair, no, you basically take off two of those digits and it's $0.10 cents a pair. Yeah. How do you make 3D glasses for $0.10 cents a pair? Pay anybody any money. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Obama's losing women's support? Oh. oh, does that have anything to do with the Masters? It has, well, no, that's why he did the Masters bit. But he's losing the support he's not going to get back. It has to do with the fact that there is no inflation. And you know that you're like 20% higher for everything you want to store. You know, the businesses are printing out material like they haven't since, uh, since uh, Clinton was president. You know that there's nothing but empty shelves in stores. You're paying twice as much a gallon for gas now as you were before, which means those soccer moms aren't taking their kids out to play soccer now. Well, part of it is when, it, when it's an election year, people do vote by their pocketbooks. Mm -hmm. And if it, the economy is bad, it doesn't make any difference. Whoever's in office. Oh, he, and, uh, I inherited the worst economy. No, he didn't. He inherited a goddamn good economy that basically was readjusting itself, and then he screwed it up by not letting it finish adjusting. Right now, 
today the housing of Monday. The foreclosure problem is now finished. It is bottomed out. People are buying at record paces. Today the announcement was we're having to lower the cost of um, financing again on home mortgage rates because the foreclosure bubble is about to hit a second time and even worse than the first time. And guess why, folks? What caused the first foreclosure problem? Mm -hmm. The people had to make yes. a choice. Gas for the jobs are paid for the houses. Once again, they're paying for the gas for the, for the jobs. And a Monty bubble isn't from the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Uh, you should pay attention to your supporters when they tell you to shut your mouth and go on a vacation and you'll win. <laughs>